Hi, Allison. Okay. Hi, Mrs. Heiko. Well, hello. Hi, Mrs. Heiko. Say hi, Mrs. Heiko. Hi, Mrs. Heiko. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, guys. Yay, we have some visitors today. I love that. Mrs. Heiko. Jump, babe. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ananya. And Lily. And Lily. Hi, Tara. Hi, Ava. Hi, Kyle. Oh, is there a new girl on there? Ava? Uh, no, no, no. Let's see. I see Oliver. Hi, Oliver. No, I don't want to speak. I see Leo and Lucy and Lily. Is that right? Three L names? I like it. I see Jenna. I see Cora. Hello, I see Ananya and Charlie B. Hi, Charlie B. I see Lana. I see Addison and Akshara. I see Charlie T and I see Chloe. Hi, Chloe. So I'm gonna first of all, does everybody want to say hi to each other? Maybe you did that before we get here. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Hi, Oliver. Hi, Cora. So I'm going to mute you for a minute and I'm going to just pop on. Norman's popping on right now. I see Norman popping on. Let's say hi to Norman before we mute anybody. Hi, Norman. Hi, Norman. Hi, Norman. Hi, Norman. <laughs> hey, before, we, before we get started, put your thumb up if you've been outside today. If you haven't gotten out there yet, you might want to do it while it's still kind of sunny. I think it's okay. I'm okay with that. It's going to get a little colder tonight. June, you told me June first, right? So I'm going to mute our friends while I kind of show you what we're going to do today. So let's see. Oh, Logan's coming on. Let's say hi to Logan before I mute you. Hi, Logan. Hi, Logan. Hi, Logan. How you doing, I'm Logan? Building a garage for my house on the night. Hold on a minute, buddy. Logan, can you say that again? So when I was trying to build a how you a garage, I got I didn't have all the pieces. Uh oh. Whoa. You were building a garage? My house. Oh. oh. Pretty cool. So I'm going to show you what our art project is. Oh, there's Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Hi, buddy. All right, we're all getting kind of settled in. So while we're waiting for all of our friends to get on, you need a piece of paper, a piece of white paper. You need a, a marker. It doesn't necessarily have to be black. I'm going to use black. And then I'm going to mute us. There we go. And then you need something to color with. I have crayons today that I'm going to use. You could use markers if you want to use markers. It's up to you. It doesn't matter either way. Let me show you what our project is going to look like when it's done. Yours might look a little bit different than mine depending on how you decide to color in you and your mom. So we're going to make a picture like this. We're going to draw our mom. This is my mom. Your mom probably looks a little bit different than my mom. So maybe your mom will have a different skin color, a different hair. Um, and then this was Mrs. Heiko and Mrs. Heiko's Lil. You're gonna draw you here. So this is gonna look different for you too, okay? 
You have some choices about what you're gonna wanna do for the background. I did some flowers and some grass in his sun. You get to decide what you wanna do. And I wanted to write a little note on there. <gasps> I see our brand new snack word. Let's read this together. I you. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? I, I love you. Here's our brand new snap word, love. We're going to use it today. Okay? So, to get started, grab your paper. Grab your marker. I'm going to put you on mute for a minute. We're going to start by drawing a circle for our mom's face. Now, our mom's face is going to be a little bit bigger than ours because your mom is probably taller than you are. So when I do my mom, I want to think about her body. Her head is going to be here, and I want my mom's feet to go towards the bottom of the page. So when I draw my circle, I'm not going to draw it way up here in the sky. She's going to be floating in space. I'm going to draw her closer towards the bottom. Watch this, okay? Here's the bottom of my page. I'm going to take my hand, let's see, and I'm going to go up like my whole hand length. So I'm going to try to go right about here to start my mom's head. So I'm going to do a circle just like that. You try. Um, I, I said I want you first. That's okay. You can leave that. That's fine. So then your next step is we're going to draw your mom's body. I did a triangle to make it look like my mom is wearing like a dress or a skirt. If you want your mom to wear a dress or a skirt, look here for just a minute. See how I did a triangle here? If you don't want your mom wearing a dress or a skirt, you could just do a big oval. Just smaller. You decide, okay? Watch. I'm going to start here where my mom's head is, and I'm going to do a triangle. Can I do my second one? Just like that. Well, you can now just You can add her later. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to look a lot better once we color it in. Perfect, Charlie. Now, once I'm done with the body, I'm going to start drawing the legs. My legs are going to be like long rectangles. That's what I mean. I'm going to do one here, and I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because I'm going to draw some shoes on the bottom. So I'm going to do a line and a line, and I'm going to close them up at the bottom. Do you see that? I'm going to do one more on the other side. I'm going to do a line and a line. Close it up. Just like that. I don't know how to do it. I'm doing like this. I don't know how to do it. I'm doing like that. Oh, that's Anna, what one do you need help on, honey? Nothing. I, was, I did it the different way. That's okay if you did it a different way. You don't have to do it just this way. That's okay. It's pretty much like that. Yeah. So then after I do my little legs, I got to add some feet for my mom. I'm just going to use little circles or almost maybe more like little ovals for her feet. So then my mom's feet. What you can do is you can go like that. And have Susan. 
Once I'm done with the feet, I'm gonna add the arms. Can you watch me first and then you try? So turn your eyes here for a minute. This is probably one of the trickier parts is the arm. I'm gonna take a line. I'm gonna come right off of my little triangle body here. I'm gonna do a line here and a line here. You see that? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do a line here and a line here. And just like I did for the feet, I'm gonna use an oval for my mom's hands. I know we have five fingers, but I'm not gonna draw that much detail in this picture and that's okay. Okay? I'm just going to stop us for just a minute. I notice that Mrs. Habenrich is on. Yes, yes. Busy. I just want to say hi to Mrs. Habenrich. Hi, Mrs. Habenrich. Hi. I'm so enjoying watching you guys. Your moms are going to love those pictures. Can you hold it up so I can see real quick? Hold them up. Show her where you're at. Oh, look at that. Look at some of those cool details. Love it. Mrs. Heichel, you're such a great drawing teacher, too. I need my fun. Yeah, I'm going to stay for a few more minutes to watch. Good to see you guys. Sounds good. So you're going to mute us again just so we can hear the directions. So now. We have our mom's body done, but we don't have those cool details yet. We're gonna add the eyes, the mouth, color her in, in just a minute. We're gonna move on before we color mom in to the next part, which is coloring you. When we do you, look, mom's a little bit taller than you are, so when we make our head for you, watch this. Mom's is up here. Yours is gonna be a little lower. And we wanna leave just a little bit of room so we can try to get our arms to touch. Watch me. Here's my mom's head. I'm gonna go next to her. And I want my head to be a little lower. So I'm gonna go like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if it's not perfect. Step two for you is to draw a little body. I'm gonna use an oval. I'm gonna add some legs, just like I did before. A line and a line, a line and a line. So you don't have to do it exactly like her. Once I do that, I'm gonna add my circle shoes. Remember, it does not have to look just like Mrs. Heichel's. It's gonna look a little different and that's okay. Oh, these look so awesome. Do you wanna take a minute and hold them up? Oh, I love them. Look how everybody's looks different. I love that. They're not all gonna look the same. That's a good thing. So the next part, when I make my arm here, 
I want it to try to connect to my mom's. So watch what I do. I'm gonna do a line to go up towards her and a line and a circle. I want to try to get them to touch. If they don't touch, no big deal. We can fill some hearts in there or something later. I was thinking the same thing. You could, you could, they could be holding a heart together. Yep, that's probably one of the trickiest parts is getting those arms to touch. Oh, I love it. Look at that. You want to really be, that looks great. Arm on the other Arm. side. Just the same way, a line and a line in a circle. So friends, the hard part is done. The hard part is all done. When you're done with this, just hold it up. Let's see where you're at. Oh, I love them. Look at that, Logan and Charlie, Lincoln. Oh, I love it. Leo, nice job. Cora, Akshara, that looks great. Addie, I love it. Nanya, it looks awesome. Cora, I see your hand is up. Do you have a question? Um, actually, I made a deep detail. Me and my mom um, are dancing the hula head to some music. That's oh, I one love that arm. detail. That's why our arms are, are on both on the same side. That is perfect. I love that idea. So perfect. now as we move on, our pictures are going to start looking different because we all look different. So if this bigger one is your mom, you have to think in your head, what color hair does my mom have? Mrs. Heichel's mom has brown hair. So when I color my mom in here, I'm going to give her brown hair. Your mom might not have brown hair. My mom also has short hair. Your mom's hair might not be short, it might be long. So you wanna kind of draw it um, for, every, for whatever your mom looks like, right? Same thing with eyes. You want to think about your mom's eye color. If you don't know, maybe go run and look or ask somebody who's with you, okay? Oh, Logan, look at that. So I'm going to do my eyes. Here. Give me a button. Make a circle up here. Oh, I know. I finished super there. quick. I finished, guys, I finished super quick. My mom smiles all the time. She's always happy. I'm going to add a big smile for her. Oh, my goodness. If you have a people color, you could color your mom using in a people color. Remember, all of our skin colors are different color. If you have a color that matches your mom's skin, you could use that to color your mom's skin color in. Now, I don't know what my mom's wearing today to color her dress, but one of my mom's favorite colors is purple. So I'm gonna color her outfit in purple. I might add a little bit of detail. I might add some like polka dots to this one. Oh, you wanna know something else? Leo, I'll call on you in just a second. Something else that my mom does almost every day, she always, always wears earrings in her ears. So I'm gonna add that like little detail of like some little earrings that she's wearing. Your mom has some jewelry. You could do that too. You could add some eyelashes, her eyebrows. Neil, did you have a question? Uh, I don't have a tan. You don't have a tan or skin color? We do you can, have a tan tan. You we could just leave it white if you want, like the paper color. That would be fine. Oh, perfect. 
Perfect. I'm glad you found one. Lana, did you have a question? Um, so mine has a cute paw and I colored it in all wax. That's okay if you colored it in red in her outfit. Like this color. Oh, that's okay. You could add some crayon around it if you want to. Okay. As you move on to coloring you in, you want to think about the same thing. What color is your hair? Think about what kind of clothes you like to wear. Think about your eye oh. color. Oh, I'm going to make this one look like Mrs. Heiko. Okay. Okay. Anya, it would be great if you could draw your beautiful dress and, a, and your scarf that you're wearing today. Maybe you can try to draw that on the, on the little girl. I'm going to draw a smile, too, on me because I'm usually happy when I'm with my mom. I think, well, this is helping me because, do you guys know, I live really close to Mrs. Heichel's mom, but I've never seen her before. So now I see this picture <laughs> and when I'm out on a bike ride or a walk, I can be looking for Mrs. Heichel's mom. What's her name again, Mrs. Heichel? Her name is Barb. Barb, okay. She, we gotta arrange her. that. She would love to meet her. Yeah, I'll have to watch for her. Cora, do you have a question? My mom has black, black hair, but I don't have a black crayon. Hmm. Do you have a black marker, Cora? Yes. Maybe you could use that for her hair. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. How's everybody doing? Is she just up every once in a while and show us how you're doing? I would love to see it. Oh, Lincoln, I love it. Lincoln, I like how you added your mom's curly hair. That looks so cool. Lincoln, can I see it? I missed it. Let me see it again. Uh, that's so good, Lincoln. Akshara, I love it. I see your mom's dark black hair. It's so beautiful. Charlie T, did you add some talking bubbles? Do you want to hold it up again? Oh, I like it. Look, you labeled Mama and Charlie with arrows. That's a cool idea. Logan, can you hold yours up again? Oh, I love it. did you add some flowers, Logan? Charlie B, can I see yours again? Charlie B, can I see it? Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Mrs. Heiko, I wonder where Joshua went. Yeah, I, I see his nephew. I don't see Joshua. Yeah, he's working. His picture's yeah. moving. So. Where, where did Joshua go? Where's Joshua? Oh, here he comes. Maybe he was getting a drink. Yeah, maybe. You guys look like you're working so hard. <laughs> so... As you kind of finish this, we're going to finish at different times. Um, if you are not finished coloring this part in yet, that is okay. Don't worry about it. You want to think about what you want your background to look like. Now we have all of this white back here. We need to add some detail. You have a lot of choices of what you could do. If you want to add a background like Mrs. Heichel did for this one, I think I'm going to do this one again. I added some green grass. I added some little flowers and a sun. Maybe you don't want to do an outdoor background. Maybe you want to add some like, I'll, I'll do this one a little bit different. Maybe you want to add some hearts. Hearts are hard to make. Can I show you how to make a heart? If you want to learn how to make a heart, turn your eyes to your screen. I'm going to do one up here. I'm going to do 
a lowercase m, so like a curve and a curve. Look, it looks just like an M. Now I'm going to make a V. I'm going to take this side. I'm going to connect it. I'm going to go a little line slides down to the bottom, then climbs up to that M like that. And I can color it in. Maybe I'll just do like all different color hearts in the background. You can do whatever you want to do for your background. Friends, I'm going to show you the heart one more time. I'm going to do one using a red. I'm going to do a bigger one. You want to see how to do a heart again? Turn your eyes here. I'm going to do an M, so like a curve and a curve, like a lowercase m. And then I'm going to connect it with a V. Little line slides down, climbs up. Now, when I color it in, I can kind of fill in any spot where I made like a little mistake. Ooh, I love it. Something else that I really want to add is I want to add a note. I want to say I love you. If you want to add a, a little note, follow along with me. We can use that new snap word. I'm just going to write mine across the top. You could do yours in a talking bubble if you wanted to. You could label like Charlie T did. But if you want to write I love you, you could follow along with me. I. Now I need a two finger space. Love. Ooh, what silent letter is at the end? It's E, right? Two finger space. Y O U! Exclamation mark. Oh, I love it. Let's just take here till. Oh, look at these. Uh, no. You already started. Hell no. Your moms are going to love these Ooh, look at some pictures. Of them. Ooh, some of you wrote, I love you, mommy. I love that. Very cool. These look great. As you continue to work, does anybody have a question? Do you want to raise your hand if you have a question as some of you continue to work? Leo, I see hands up. Leo, what's your question? I wrote, I wrote the words in the, in the clouds. Oh, I like it. Can you hold it close to the screen? I like that you put it in the clouds. That's a cool detail. Laura, did you have something that you wanted to say? Yeah, um, I made a yoga mat hat. So it looks like a, I'm standing on something to protect my feet. He, cause I, he was wearing these shoes that I'm wearing now. Oh, sure. Well, you can certainly add a yoga mat to your picture. Does anybody else have something to share? Logan, did you see your hand up, buddy? Your hand up? 
Nothing. No. <laughs> no, you're you're multitasking. I like it. A little snack <laughs> in an art project. I mean, what are you eating? Cookies. Oh, delicious. All right. So I'm gonna let you go while you continue to finish up. Oh my goodness, Jenna, can you hold that up? I hadn't seen that yet. <gasps> it's beautiful. Everybody hold yours up where you are right now. Even if it's, look at that cool work you did. Oh my goodness. Your moms are going to love these. Lana, do you want to hold yours up? Can we see? Oh, I love it. Lincoln and Joshua, do you want to hold yours up too so we can see? Oh, your moms are going to love these. I'm going to... Oh, did you say something, Lincoln? It was a big mom from my mom. Oh, you did her. Yeah, no big deal. You gave it to her already? Look at um, Akshara's for a minute. Her, she wrote some more words. She wrote, my mom is the best. Could you add more words to yours? Yeah, you certainly can. If you want to take like a crayon and color in the whole background part to add more color, you could do that too. So the rest, you can kind of keep going and make it look the way you want to make it look. It doesn't all have to be the same. So I'm going to start saying goodbye to some of our friends, but before we go, I want to tell you one more thing. Tomorrow, we have another Zoom session at 1.30. It's a birthday snack for Maggie. So hopefully you can make it to our birthday snack. You could pick your favorite thing to munch on to celebrate a birthday, something you have at home. And we can, wish, we can wish Maggie a happy birthday. So I, get, I hope I get to see some of you tomorrow, too. Hey, pat on the back. You guys did really great. This was our hardest art project so far. Definitely the hardest. <laughs> I'm going to start saying bye to some of you. Bye. 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 Bye, Joshua. Lana, I'm not sure if I said bye to you yet. So I'm going to say bye to you again. Bye to all of our friends. Great job today. Bye, everybody. Say bye, all. Mom, throw the pop up. Okay, here.